What's up guys and welcome back to another episode here on the Architect Network. I've been a little behind on videos recently but for good reason. We have been developing our online courses and website which you can go and check out in the link below. But in this video I wanted to quickly show you one of my favorite augmented reality plugins for Rhino called Follogram. I'll do a more in-depth video on Follogram as well as the HoloLens, but in this video I wanted to show you how, how you could go from a Rhino model to viewing it in augmented reality via your phone or your tablet in less than 10 minutes. So without any further ado, let's jump into it and take a look. Step one. Go to Fologram.com, as you can see at the top here. Uh, you can check out a little bit about what they're doing and some of the products they've done. I won't delve into that. Head straight to download, and you can see for free, you can download the plugin to Rhino and Grasshopper. Uh, you can see it works for uh, Rhino 5, 6, or 7. So go ahead, download that, follow the instructions, and install. Once you've done that, you then need to install it on your uh, iPhone or iPad or smartphone or whatever it is you have. Whether you're on uh, iOS or Android, you can go to the App Store or Google Play, uh, install that on your phone, and that is stage one complete. Okay, stage two, come open up Rhino. Uh, you can open up the model that you actually wanna try out or simply just model you know, a couple things uh, essentially the most important thing is that your model is close to your origin so you see my model is like sitting at the zero zero uh, obviously your units does matter we are going to be viewing this in real world uh, so just check what units you're using um, otherwise if you've installed it correctly uh, you may get a pop-up but uh, there's two things if you come here under t your toolbar if you scroll down you will see there is now a phologram toolbar you might have this floating uh, around so you can add that to your uh, to your Rhino workspace or you can right click on your tab here you also see a phologram tab you can add this so this is the one uh, where you'll be spending your most time as you can see there's not much really going on here there's two buttons which obviously we'll get to in a second uh, so this is basically end of stage two you've installed it you have your model open and you're kind of ready to connect Stage three, and one of the most important things is you've got to make sure that your computer and your device, whether it's iPad or iPhone or whatever, is is on the same network. So you're you know essentially both on the same Wi-Fi. Uh, if you're at home, this should be fairly simple. Uh, if you're in your office, sometimes you know your office might have certain security protocols that won't allow you to do it. You might have to speak to your IT department to allow Fologram to communicate from your device to your computer. Uh, the only other thing I would look out for is, you know, a lot of us are still working from home, for example, and you might be using a VPN or something like that. Sometimes that can get in the way. If you go to the network tab, you can see, first of all, like what uh, network you're currently on and if you're on a VPN for example if you hit this drop down button you can choose like let's say you're at home you can choose your home Wi-Fi as opposed to your company VPN uh, so that's one thing that did catch me out so that's one thing to check otherwise make sure you're both connected and the next step will connect our computer and our phone through the app stage four is fairly straightforward now we have everything connected we are going to hit the big uh, purple button to connect to a device. Well, the one other thing we can check is we can set a scale. So of course, if we go ahead and view it now, it's going to be one to one. So it's going to be pretty massive. I'm just going to be putting it on my desk here at home. So uh, I do want to scale this. So I'm just going to go uh, 0 0.02, which I think should be about one to 50. So it should be a bit more manageable uh, just so it's not like massive when we just uh, display it. Once that's set up, and depending on the scale of your model, go ahead and change the scale. You can also do that on the app, so we'll go through that in a second. Go ahead, hit the QR, uh, hit the connected device, and we'll get this QR button show up. And this is the point where I open up the app on my phone, and then I open up the app and look at the QR code. So we're going to go and jump over and do that now. So now I've got my iPad open, I'm just going to simply open up Fologram 
and then once it's open you'll see it's asking you for the QR code so you simply look at the screen and it should fairly quickly scan it the model will load and you can see that your iPad is kind of scanning with the camera the surfaces around it and by simply just clicking you are now placing the model and that's it we're, you know we're five minutes in and we've we've pretty much uh, got the model now you can see you can fly through it I'm trying to get inside but it's a bit, bit difficult with the iPad you can really uh, get a sense of scale and especially for these smaller kind of models that would, would be like you know a 3d printed model or something um, so to go over the app a little bit just so you got a little bit more uh, understanding of how so the first icon the one at the top right which I've just clicked that allows you to move the model in its entirety you're not moving its zero zero location you can see it here I've also scaled the model by just simply pinching my fingers. You can scale it up and down. You can rotate by putting two fingers on the screen and rotating your hand around. It's a little bit tricky to do. Uh, but basically this is about, you know, placing the model in the correct location. The next icon that we'll look at is basically the little house icon is how you can actually save the model onto your uh, device so I could save this and call it sub you do need a subscription to do that you'll also see that there's some pre-save models in there so that you may want to kind of test out uh, so once you subscribe you can save them and you don't need to connect to Rhino of course you can take photos by just clicking the photo button you can also uh, record videos uh, as long as you just allow it access to your photos and all that kind of stuff the next app along which I'm just getting to is basically your re your layers and the cool thing about this is you're, you're actually looking at a Rhino model right so I can click off I can access the layers and you'll see as I'm clicking and turning the layers off I'm also controlling it in Rhino right so this is like a two-way street I'm not just looking at some kind of uh, dead model uh, through Fologram. The last one is Grasshopper parameters. This is a bit of a teaser. It's not controlled to Grasshopper, but you can control it. But we'll save that for another time. And then finally, the cool thing is, is like I said, you're actually in Rhino, so you can actually accidentally or on purposely start moving things, and you'll notice you're actually moving stuff in your Rhino model, which is just gives you a bit of a flavor of what Fologram's really capable of. Um, of course, the only way to undo that is to go on your computer and undo, but uh, they do need an undo button. Uh, but that's the basics. Hope you found this super useful. I'd love to see what you guys do with this, so tag us on any cool Fologram stuff you do. Hope you enjoyed that quick video. As always, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned as we will be doing more videos on the Fologram and HoloLens, as well as some online courses soon to come. As I mentioned before, we are releasing courses on our new website and right now you can sign up for our free Grasshopper Masterclass in the link below, so check that out. Otherwise, thank you for joining us and we'll see you in the next video.